about tonight's tonight's win? Um, I think our intensity and um, you know handling our emotions pretty well. I know last year we came in here and obviously we knew what was on the line when we came here last year, but. Um, I thought we did a good job of handling our emotions. Um, you know, obviously it's a chippy game, it's a high intensity game, so you know we try to handle our emotions as best we could. Which um, you know I thought we did a good job, but just the intensity was good today. Um, thought special teams was really good, and you know we got we were able to capitalize on our opportunities tonight. You scored twice tonight. What's been clicking for you? I know you said you wanted to start and just continue the season on a high note. Um, you know, I, I, I don't think I changed much. I think it was just um, obviously two great players that, you know, made two awesome plays for me. Um, you know, it was happened. I was able to be in the right spot at the right time. And um, essentially, I think just keep working hard, um, you know, being in the in the right situation defensively. Um, I think when you're in good position, um, you know, away from the puck, I think you'll get your chances. And, um, you know, I was able to get two really good, uh, you know, pass uh, Two really good passes that resulted in goals. It's four in a row for you guys as well. What's been clicking? What's been working? What have you been most impressed by the start of the season? I think it's just finding a way to, uh, you know, to handle adversity. I thought, you know, these two, three last games were a little different. Obviously, you know, Columbus, we didn't have the best start. Um, you know, I thought last game against Pittsburgh, you know, we, we got scored against, you know, within the first minute of the game. And I think it's just handling our emotions. I thought, you know, we've been doing a really good job about that. And, um, you know, just kind of keeping our foot on the gas, um, you know, bringing that intensity every shift, you know, every line. Um, you know, I think everyone's buying in and it's fun to watch. Just what, what are your biggest takeaways from tonight's win? Well, I, I mean, it's a big win for us. Uh, last year we played here t two games in a row and got like spanked. So uh, we uh, we had a good mentality coming in, and you know, just whatever happens in the game, stay calm. And uh, I think we did a pretty good job in the overall 60 minutes. The fight and pushback from this team has been evident this season. How much is that a credit to the veteran guys that you guys brought in this off season? Yeah, I mean, it's everybody here in the locker room um, doing you know their job and uh, pushing each other. So. It's uh, it's been really good start so far, but uh, still, you know, we want to be want to be better, and uh, um, we we are not too comfortable, and you know, still a lot of games left, so um, just gotta go day by day. And then iron sharpens iron. You'll see them again a few times throughout in division play. What's the benefit of playing, you know, rising teams like the Senators? I mean, they're always, you know, they're a good team. Um, last year, like I said, we lost, you know, a couple here, and uh, uh, very talented team. So. It's nice, you know, uh, play those games, and uh, it's easy to like get get going right away and get focused for the game. So uh, it's a, it's a good good matchup, and uh, we were we were good today. News, you said you look you looked healthier, you felt, and you said you felt healthier. How would you assess tonight's performance and your start this season? I mean, it's it's been okay. I would say like uh, uh, you know, still want to be better, and you know. Make make all the saves, but uh, I think uh, it's a good good start, and uh, it's a good you know we can build off and um, uh, just keep working and go day by day. New Zealand complete win tonight. What did what was your kind of takeaway from the effort? Uh, I really liked how we handled some adversity tonight. Um, you know, the first adversity was being on our heels, which is going to happen on the road against a very good team. Um, they kind I wouldn't say jumped us, but they were all over us early, um, and I thought. We got a good performance from Villy in the first. We weathered that. Uh, special teams was a big part of the game. Uh, obviously, the power play and penalty kill. And I thought our five-on-five -five game improved as it went on. So just all in all, a really good road win against a top team. Um, you, know, you watch this team. I think they're going to be towards the top of the standings all year. So I think that was a really good win for us. What do you attribute the success of the power play early on this season? Uh, habits. Again, there, we have five guys that can make plays on it, but most of the goals tonight all came off retrievals um, and then a quick attack after that. So if we're able to retrieve pucks and win some 50-50s along the yellow there, then we turn in some offense and make some plays. So um, big part of the win, but even our second goal of the game, which obviously was our first 5-on-5 five five goal, came right after a good power play gave us some momentum. We've talked about Joe Blino's success early on this season. He finds the back of the net twice. What's been working for him and what have you seen? Just playing with some confidence, managing his game very well. Um, I think when he's doing stuff, play, you know, he's playing 200-foot game, he's getting those opportunities now. And he did that, and he obviously cashed in on a couple goals. Um, big part of our team. Do you see a bit of a rivalry growing between these? I know it's hard to say. I, I, you would hope we, we, we both are trying to take some steps. They're probably a little ahead of us 
when you go down the roster, it's understandable. They've been drafting higher and longer than us for a long time, and they've done a very good job with it. That's a very good team. It's a well-coached team. It's a scary to be good team here. So uh, I think we got a little more work to do. Uh, but you know, if they're going to be a top team in this division and we're a rival with them, that'd be a good 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 spot for us to be in. Just a comment on your goaltender. And excellent. He was excellent. Just the big, especially early on. Uh, I think we only had them for four or five chances, but they were they were on us. And even the one goal we gave up was a deflection. We didn't really have much of a chance on. And then he made some big saves when momentum could have easily been turned. So he, he was excellent tonight. Uh, it was a game for a lot of people were looking forward to seeing Alex Debrink yep. come back. How did you feel he handled? I thought he handled it very emotional at times. I think it's hard for him because he is such an unbelievable kid. He's such an unbelievable human being. There's not a bad bone in his body. Anyone he's ever been around or touched, he's extremely well liked. So he probably, it's probably took a little personal, but it's the reality of it. Um, so I thought he managed it pretty well. I thought our group as a whole managed it pretty well. Usually a quick last one for me, quick turnaround into Calgary. Yep. Tomorrow, what's kind of the focus? Uh, turn the page on this. Uh, good win, emotional win, there's no doubt about it. But if we want to continue to get where we want to be, um, you got to take a little step in our maturity, put this behind us, and play a really good game tomorrow. Thanks, Susie. Appreciate it.